Good morning. I ended up switching into leggings because I always think like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wear jeans. And then I just think about my Lululemon leggings and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna switch to those instead. I'm actually gonna wear a necklace today. I miss wearing like jewelry and stuff. I need some more pendant necklaces. So if you guys have any recommendations, oh my gosh, also it's really hard to put on with nails. <laughs> I don't think I can get this on. All right, I just looked up on TikTok how to put a necklace on with nails and I saw one where she used a paper clip and I put it on. Okay, wait, I think this worked. I'll give you guys an update on if I lose the necklace or not, but we got it on, which is a win. Anyway, I wanna get new jewelry, so if you guys have any recommendations for jewelry brands, I was looking at like Majuri and um, all sorts of stuff like that, but if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. We're gonna do our makeup. I am doing like an ASMR vlog for TikTok, so I already got my ASMR makeup clip. Might be unpopular, but I really like the like ASMR where people t like knock the caps off of their makeup. I don't know why I literally love that sound. It makes a lot of people really mad, which also helps engagement, so I guess that's a good thing. I have a little bit of work to do today. I have to film a YouTube video because I am sticking with my schedule of a post on Wednesday night around like 8 o'clock, which is going to be a sit-down video, and then Sunday around 2 p.m. will be a vlog. So I do want to kind of stay a little bit ahead with the sit-down videos, so I'm going to be filming two sit down videos today and then editing those tomorrow but that honestly shouldn't take too long and then i do want to get out of the house i want to go like explore a little bit and the thought process behind this was the other night i do i have this locked anyway last night i was like looking around my house i was watching some vlogs on tiktok and i was like damn everybody's house looks exactly the same <laughs> like decor wise so i decided i was like you know what I love Target, but I really need to limit the amount of decor that I buy at Target. So I decided this morning I spent a couple hours on the couch because I always like to drink my morning coffee and like spend some time, just like spend some time just doing like my own thing, whatever I want to do, like before I get to work. I just spent that time looking up some like local uh, like interior design shops and just some like places where I can get a little bit more unique different pieces because i do really like the style that i feel like i've really grown into i definitely love like the transitional like not so much like trendy just like neutral so if i do want to switch things up it's really easy to switch up decor um but with that my style is fairly available at target and i just want to like kind of have some more unique pieces so we're gonna go shopping. A lot of my days like look like all I do is go shopping, but to be completely honest, I have so many days where I just sit at home and I'm getting computer work done. These are just the days that I love to vlog because I find them to be a little bit more interesting and honestly like going shopping by yourself can be kind of lonely sometimes. So I like to take you guys along with me. Makeup is done. I don't know if I gave you guys an update. This is the Bio Ionic one inch curling iron that I got a few vlogs ago. I love this thing. I'll show you guys the curls that I get afterwards. I feel like you've seen me curl my hair a hundred times, so I won't put you through that. But I really, really like this. It creates smooth, nice, soft curls, and they hold longer than any other curling iron I've used before. I love this bad boy. I like the clamp, that it's the whole length of the barrel, and I love the long barrel because all of my hair wraps around the curling iron and gets evenly curled which is super important. I will link this down below if you guys wanna check it out, but it is a 10 out of 10 curling iron. 23 things you can do in 2023 to kind of elevate your everyday life. One video down, one more to go. But it is, what time is it? 10.30 and all the stores that I wanna to go to open at 11. I obviously don't wanna be the first person there or like get there right when they open. Film one more video 
and then we'll get ready to head out. Seven places in your house that you can organize or declutter today. We are all done. Those went so well. I'm really excited for you guys to see those videos. Those turned out really, really good. Okay, so that actually took no time at all. It's 10.45. Filming these sit-down videos are just so easy. I love doing them. They just sit down. I just, I'm good at talking. <laughs> I talk a lot. So they're just super easy for me. Um, I'm trying to debate whether I want a water to go or if I want a coffee to go. I think we're going to do water. I do have to plug this camera in because it is about to die. <laughs> about as charged as this camera is gonna get we are gonna head out let's go see what we can find from some local home decor shops this is the outfit that I'm wearing lululemon Birkenstocks I added this entire outfit to my LTK I updated everything that is in my closet and then these are like my $12 Amazon sunglasses I've had them for like the longest time they are wonderful all right, first location, we are here. I'm actually going to leave my vlog camera in the car and just vlog on my phone because two reasons. I am vlogging on TikTok today as well. Also, I forgot like a tote bag, so I'd have to bring my camera with its tripod, which is really bulky. So we're going to just cut to some phone clips which the quality actually looks really good i was editing a couple of my videos with iphone footage and it actually turned out pretty good so let's go see what we have this one's super cute um i will write all of the places that i go today so if you guys are in i'm in dunedin right now dunedin florida so if any of you guys are visiting or are here and you guys want to shop i'll link down all the small businesses that we go to today but let's go in i'm so excited All right, it's a hot one, but first place was a success. I went to um, Dunning and Tampa Bay Interiors and I got the cutest little spoon rest. I needed a new one and I just fell in love with that one. They also had the prettiest like colored wine glasses. I didn't get them. I definitely am like kind of regretting not getting them. They were so cute. So I might have to come back. We're going to go to another, another store. So let's go. Okay, so from that store, which was, I believe it was called the Ivory Palm, again in Dunedin, I got an electric lighter for my candle. It's so cute. I have another one that I got from Amazon, but I really like this one, so I picked it up. Again, I will have all the small businesses that I went to in the description. I ended up driving to a little shopping plaza that has World Market, Old Navy, Kirkland's, and Hobby Lobby all together. So I'm going to just wander. We're going to just go in, see what we can find. Need to go to those small businesses more. I need to find more. If you have any recommendations around like St. Pete, Tampa, like Tarpon Springs, even like Orlando, anywhere like that, please let me know because I would much rather prefer to shop there than these places. Um, but it's just hard to find them and I know I know times are tough right now And I just really want to make sure that I'm supporting as many like direct businesses as possible So if you have any recommendations leave them down below um, And if you live somewhere else comment them because maybe someone will also live near you and we can support small businesses So let's go into world market first and then we'll make our way around <laughs> So I'm gonna give you a rundown of what I've got. I've got the air going because again, it's super hot in here. Hobby Lobby's, ugh, Hobby Lobby's always a hit or a mess. I I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think of this. It's a painting. I really don't know. It was ten dollars. I really couldn't say no because I was like, oh, that's a good price. But I, Hobby Lobby's hard because I'm like, do I like it? Because it's the best thing in Hobby Lobby. Is, is that it? You know what I mean? So I got that. And at World Market, all I got was 
oh I forgot look at this the bag I had to walk with it for a little while and it like ruined my arm I did get a water because I was dying and there's nowhere to get like a beverage here so I got a water and then I got these which are shower steam things you like what do you do you put them on the shower floor and then it'll like release essential oils and whatnot they smell really good and I liked the packaging that they're like wrapped individually plus they're in a jar and that's what I picked up I really didn't like find anything too crazy I wish that I was able to find more in those smaller shops but I really didn't find much that like I really 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 wanted I'm gonna head home I'm gonna end my vlog because I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be doing computer work the rest of the day and also it's like pretty close to dinner time thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys later